Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and we are over on Crystal Isles, and I am here to show you an artifact location. Now, this is one of the more difficult ones to get on Crystal Isles, because the cave can be a little bit dangerous, but not, not very difficult at all, in all honesty, because you can just swim past pretty much everything about electric eels are about the only thing that you're going to get you here. So you're going to go ahead and start off just so you can see on the map 19.2, 40.8, and this is the entrance to the underwater cave that you're going to be going to. Um, and basically you can locate it between the Redwoods Forest and the edge of the snow biome. Uh, there will be a bunch of kind of frozen stuff here. I wouldn't even call this an iceberg. I'm just on it. It's just existing. Um, so you're going to hit these icebergs right before they kind of get like really clustery and you're just going to go straight down now when you go down you're going to notice that there's a few things around here this is the edge right here you can see that the bubbles kind of start coming up where the cave entrance is and you just go on into the cave and as we're going into this cave just remember these caves are really useful because there's tons of silica pearls in them usually lots of element ore and then you can also find an artifact in just about all of them from what i've found so far uh, so we're just going to go to this, and the easiest way to find the artifact for this one is just to stick to the left-hand side. Uh, if you just basically hold your arm to the left-hand side, you'll see lots of silica pearls, and you can kind of just enjoy the scenery. And we're getting there eventually. Um, but you just keep going, and uh, don't go right here. Stick to the left. And as we stick to the left, you're going to run into your artifact. Now, you'll see that that big boy up there is waiting for you. Be careful. But because we stuck to the left, boom, we're at the artifact. Pretty easy. Um, the actual coordinates of this, so you can see it, 22.4, 43.9. Go ahead and pull up that map so you can kind of see a comparison of that as well. There we go. Now I can actually see the map. And uh, you just you know simply grab it and you're good to go. There's the artifact of the lost for you. Um, but kind of just to show you this cave a little bit, just like all, all of the caves here, there's different stuff in different areas of them. Um, this one, obviously, about the same size as the bee cave, give or take. And uh, I'm just calling it bee cave. Uh, and you just swim through it. Lots of uh, easy resources. I don't think anything big spawns in any of these caves. Not entirely sure. At least I have never seen anything large that spawns in them. Uh, so take that for what you will, but there's always two uh, I guess two entrances slash two exits, and that's how you find these things pretty easily. I'll go ahead and show you the other side of this cave, just so you can see. Hello, you trepids. And we're just going to keep swimming. So we just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And we're almost there. I love that the, the little corals and stuff are kind of funky and different colored and stuff. That makes it really unique in my opinion. All right, so we are almost there. Come on. Come on. Man, these things go a long ways. So you can see there's only one way to go anyway, so it's not like you can really get lost. I mean, the artifact can be kind of hard to find because it's in a little, like, loop-de-doop. -loop, but that's about the only thing that's difficult. And we're just going to keep going. And keep swimming. <laughs> and keep swimming. We'll stay to our left. Did I just make a mistake? I don't think I did. Hmm. But if you're ever cave adventuring in Ark, one of the easiest things you can do is kind of just hang to one side because you will eventually find the exit. Uh, that's just how you find the exit to any maze. By the way, you just hang to the left or hang to the right and you're good to go. Um, and here we see some anglerfish. Okay, so there is a plessy down here. I did not realize that. This is like a bigger, bigger zone. Interesting. I don't think I ran into this one last time. Oh well. Uh, so we're just going to keep swimming. Hanging to our left. And left. And left. And keep going. Oh, hello, red. Easy access to a loot crate. Okay. 30.1, 48.5. And you'll get access to a red loot crate. Not too shabby. Cool. And we're just going to keep going out the exit. Bloop. And we have now exited the cave. But this is also easy, easy access to an underground loot. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Underwater loot crate. And just so you can see the cords that we're at right now. Here's the underwater entrance right in front of the big ice cave. 31.2, 48.6. So easy access to the artifact and some loot. All right. Hope this helps. Teach. Ow.